Good day. Today we're doing a bit of a special for one of our Australian viewers, uh, Mr. Danny Ryan. You know who you are, Dan the Man, who was asking the other day about Mother of Millions, which I think he probably meant Mother of Thousands, also known as the Calancho, which is this one here. I was very kindly sent a seed tray full of them, or rather a bag full of them which I put in a seed tray by Daz from Cacti Mania. There's a bit of a revenge hit on something that was going on last year. And all I did was throw them into a seed tray. I didn't um, put them in, plant them up at all. They just found their own way, got their roots into the, the soil, the compost. And this is the result. This is probably six, eight months later. And there's a lot of nice looking healthy plants in there, which I'm very pleased about. <coughs> Before that, this particular one is Calancho Digrimontiana. Uh, the only one of them I had before that was this one, which was a nice plant until I put it under the fleece during the winter and opened it up and the mice had nibbled it down to just the stump there. Uh, Daz was saying that they're very poisonous, so... Um, well, funnily enough, I've not had any problems from mice uh, since they ate that one. So, who knows? But, uh, some people pronounce it um, Kalankawi. Uh, I've been calling it Kalancho. Mind you, some people can pronounce um, Kinoa as um, Quinoa. But uh, if you want to know how that's really pronounced, then uh, it's probably better go Google it. Because I've got a few thoughts on that one. Some sort of rice. Anyway, going back to these, I've been pot potting a few of them up today. What I'm going to do is just take the um, the biggest ones out of here for now. Uh, put a few out for sale, see how they, they get on. Uh, main problem is they're not frost hardy, so if I pot up too many of them straight away and I've got a huge amount to uh, look after if I don't sell them, <coughs> then I've got to find somewhere nice and warm for them over winter and um, this last winter we've had a few problems with things um, not being too warm uh, this one for instance the uh, Puntia monocantha uh, that one's okay it was out with all the others but some of the bigger ones really suffered uh, so I'm bearing in mind for next winter try and keep it um, on the hardy side with things I've got in stock uh, to um, save space more than anything it's not so much the, the heating costs although they are a bit pricey these days anyway let's uh, have one of these out and have a look at the roots so i'm just taking the bigger ones out and they've all grown very nice root systems i've had a bit of a poke around already and here you have uh, a young one Nice fleshy leaves and good roots on there. These things, they, they haven't got um, plantlets around the leaves, leaves at the moment, but the one I had last year, which was only um, a few months older than this one, had little plantlets growing already, so it's almost like they're born pregnant. Uh, the, the plantlets drop off, and as I say, I've just put them in here, and they've rooted themselves, which is fantastic. So I'm um, just using a... A gritty sandy compost, homemade compost, no peat at all. Um, potting it up in the, the smaller pots. If it's anything like the one I grew last year, I'll be potting this on again in a few months. Uh, I'll pot it into the, uh, the sevens here and uh, see how they get on. I did a little bit of looking around the internet and uh, I saw these can make some very nice house plants. Uh, I saw a few that a lady had grown uh, about this sort of size, which were very nice indeed. But uh, there we go. I'm just going to do enough today to fill this tray and um, put some out. To see how um, how we get on with them. So there we have it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone.